Hello. Hi. Yeah? Yeah. No, I'm shooting. I'm gonna make my banoffee pie cake because I have a lot of overripe bananas in the kitchen. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sorry, guys. You don't have the um, iBanana 13? Is that, what, is that what you're noticing? So the first thing I wanna do is make the white chocolate ganache in order to stabilize the whipped cream. So I have my whipping cream that I'm gonna whip later on, but I'm going to take out a couple of tablespoons of this whipping cream and put it in a heat proof bowl so I can heat it in the microwave and use that to melt my chocolate. White chocolate tends to melt faster than dark because it's already softer to begin with. That's that coating. Hello. Yes, I told you I'd call you later. How do you shut this thing off? Can you put your banana on silent? Um, or is that not an option? If you're having trouble melting your white chocolate or if you are using chocolate chips and you're noticing that resistance in melting, you can put this mixture into the microwave for like 10 seconds, not in a metal bowl, but you can pour it into your glass bowl and heat the whole thing and then continue stirring until it is nice and smooth. Look at how it coats that spatula. I'm going to cool this completely and then chill it, and I'm also going to chill the rest of my cream. I'll be back. Okay, here in front of me, I have two eight-inch round banana cakes, and they are crusted with a graham cracker crust. Graham cracker crust pressed into the pans, and then the banana batter goes on top. And of course, when I made this batter, well, when Helena made this batter, the bananas were perfect. She used perfectly bruised, soft, semi-blackened bananas. When it comes to baking, I'll see like a banana at a certain phase and think, oh, that's perfect for banana bread. But when it comes to eating bananas, I don't want freckles. I prefer them less sweet. So I'm gonna remove these. This represents the crust on a banoffee pie. I just don't wanna break the crust. One more push. Don't, you're giving me flashbacks. This does not hurt as much. There we go. There we go. Hello? I could have leveled a little less than this, but today is a day that I want to eat cake scraps. <sighs> Banana cake scraps and carrot cake scraps are my favorite. I layer these and I want to make sure that there is still some cake on the crust. And now it's time for a snack break. Like, get that crumb off your shoulder. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> you gotta get that. <laughs> Are you gonna get some ASMR of this simple syrup? Mm -hmm. it's, it's very important for our ASMR channel. Oh, that was good. You want to drench the cakes with simple syrup. There you go. Now, banana cake is really moist. I would say banana and carrot are the most moist because obviously of the addition of the fruit and the vegetables. So you don't want to over simple syrup. I don't need to do this on two sides. Um, I'm just locking in the moisture that's already there. For the inside of this cake, I'm adding some fresh bananas that I'm going to brulee by sprinkling on some brown sugar and using Bernadette. You want to make sure the bananas are nice and ripe, not overly ripe for the inside. You want to make sure that when you slice them, they can hold their shape. Bernadette is here. Get it? Burn a debt. First one I called Mr. Burns, but he was a bit old. Oh, and... cute. Oh, I you like didn't know that. that? Yeah, the first I one was like Mr. Burns, and he fizzled out. I'm going to brulee these bananas, but first what I want to do is sprinkle on some brown sugar. I love the way this smells. This smells better than toasted marshmallows. I love the way it falls up. Do you see that? Before I forget and before I start assembling the cake, the white chocolate ganache is cooled and you can see how much it has thickened. Ew. So now I'm going to mix this white chocolate ganache with the rest of my chilled whipping cream. So I'm gonna pour a little whipped cream in. I'm just whisking it so that it's incorporated. And now I can set this bowl aside in my fridge. This whole mixture is chilling and when I'm ready, I'll whip it. In this can is condensed milk. The label's removed because you have to remove it in order to place this can into a pot of simmering water for quite a long time and boil it. And that 
caramelizes the condensed milk right in the can. You don't open it, nothing. You have to be very careful and let it cool completely in the pot before you lift the cans out. And in here, let's do the reveal. Ready? What was that? Why do I do that? My son does that. Where did he learn that? I don't know. Some of this down is my glue, look at that. And now I'm gonna make sure to put one of the crusted cake layers. So I'm going to place a dollop of buttercream, this is just vanilla buttercream, and spread it evenly. I'm just cleaning up the sides. And I'm going to pipe effects. I get really shaky when I do this on camera because all of a sudden, it's as if I think people are watching and there's a close up. You know? Let's get the brulee bananas. Look at that. And now I want to fill this area with brulee bananas and we're going to fill it up as much as we can. We're not going to push the fence off the cake, but we are just going to start to line the inside with brulee bananas. And I'm not going to get fussy about these little openings because I'm about to pipe in some caramelized condensed milk. I'm going to pipe a fence on top of the fence. And that's because I'm worried about this caramelized condensed milk seeping out. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. Should I put more? Ah! Ah! Okay, so this is beautiful. And now I'm going to add a layer of just banana cake. Line it up. Well, as always, whenever you're building a cake like this, if it's hot where you are or you feel like it's wobbling, take the time to chill this and then move on. Sorry, I had to put the buttercream. Now, final layer is crusted, and we're gonna flip it upside down so the crust is on top. This cake I left semi-naked, so right now I'm just gonna crumb coat it. Same way you crumb coat every other cake, just a nice layer, and we're gonna hold all the crumbs to the cake. Here we go, to the fridge. I'm gonna move this just in case. Just in case there was ever like drippage or anything of that nature. I'm not really gonna ice this cake. I do want it to look semi-naked, like I said before, but I am gonna put another thin layer of buttercream on the sides, and good thing, because I only have about a half a cup left. And then I thought with all that whipped cream on top, you kind of don't need all the richness of more buttercream. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop this cake back in the fridge to let it chill, and then I'm gonna whip that white chocolate whipped cream. Whip that white. I can't do it. Yeah. Whip that white chocolate whipped cream. W T W C W C. Guys, I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then I'm gonna W T W C W C. You know what I mean? I have my white chocolate whipped cream ready to go. It's nice and chilled. It's been in the bowl in the fridge. So I'm gonna put it on the mixer. Ah! Okay, wh why am I doing this? I'm trying to hold this. What is happening? How is it not fitting? Can we, like, argh, can you put up those colored lines and write technical difficulties? Like, what is happening right now? Okay, I am going to try to turn on the mixer and whip the whipped cream. Here we go. This is perfect. I think, let me test it. I'm topping my cake just like I would top a banoffee pie. <laughs> Are you ready? This is the, oh yeah, oh yes. Here we go, she has her brooch on. 
I think, I remember I had a hard time thinking like it was so not decorated, but I like it. I love her. And the cake reveal. Oh my goodness graciousness. So, son, I have a question, son. What birthday cake do you want? We Tell want everyone. A red velvet cake that looks like a red velvet cupcake. I can't believe you want that. I mean, I'm happy it's not a Minecraft TNT block. Oh, yeah. No, no, you had that last year. And that took me forever. Cool. Hello. Yes, I'll bring you some. Yes, I'll bring you some. Just let me say bye. Okay, thanks. I'm sorry, guys. I've got to go.